Hello and welcome to my Asian Summer Morning Musume. Today we've got a song called Love Machine uh, with 23 million views, so, so it's, it's like the biggest uh, one I check out so far. Should be fun. And uh, yeah, Alan, thank you again for the support on Patreon and some more context. After the last song, so on the last song you told me, um, Sunku, the lead singer of Sharon Q, writes and produces Morning Musume's song. The original members of Morning Musume were Ida Kaori, Aba Natsumi, Nakazawa Yuko, Ishiguro Aya, and Fukuda Asuka. They are traditional members in this song, uh, Yaguchi Mari, Yasudake, and Ichi Sayaka. So that was the other song uh, I did yesterday, um, when you're seeing this reaction right now. So yeah, yesterday. Uh, so fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I won't lie, I'm pretty much remember the names that fast, but thank you anyway for giving me the context, sorry about that, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, Love Machine, this was uploaded 12 years ago, this came out, 1999. So I feel like, yeah, I guess we're doing one song per year, pretty cool, 1997, 1998, and now 1999. And I was a year old, great. Okay, well, let's see what we've got with Love Machine. Um, there's only four of them in the thumbnail, so maybe they, like, reduce their numbers again. Don't we know? Link in the description for the original video, the link to the Morning Musume channel, the link to my Discord if you want to follow me, my stream account and Patreon if you want to support me. Let's see what they've got. Here we go. Let's see if they keep that disco style for me. I have no sound normal. Interesting stage. Okay. End of the century. Okay. Yeah. They're keeping some energy like that one. But out. Maybe she looks like there's more people than before. Okay. Right. Okay, nice buddy. But it's like, I don't see the fashion. Fashions? Ooh, ooh, I like that part of that. Mm. Okay, then the chili and special effect of the era for this video. Amazing. I like Spider-Man vocals. I think one thing I really like is the evolution of. Um, the fashion, how comfortable they are, like, I would say on the first um, music video, they all looked a bit awkward, and even in the singing, you know, they weren't, like, too confident, right? But now it's like, yeah, they're all, like, embracing the dancing, the, the funny fashion that they have, the, the singing, they all feel very comfortable with it. So I like the, the evolution of that, I mean, it's been three years uh, between this song and the first one, so, makes sense. Actually playing. I like the individuality, like, they all have all the same design of clothes, you know? Even last time, they'll be singing. Mm. Mm. Okay. I really love when they sing at the same time. Great voice chemistry. As I said before. It's like, on one end, you know, the, the first music video from them I checked out, which was so simple and 
so good at production value, right? It felt like very indie. You know, sure it was like that, but at the same time, it kind of, um, like it wasn't weird or anything. <laughs> well, stuff like this, you know, whenever you look some like late 90s, early 2000, um, music video that have like so much 3D, but it all looks kind of, kind of weird. It's kind of funny. I mean, the music is good. It's pretty fun. It's just the music video is super funny. Yeah. <laughs> This one really has a playful good vibe at this one. What is that? Like, like, what is that? It's like an art with some kind of robot on top of it. I'm not Frankly, like watching this video like this really reminds me of when I was younger, let's say like between 2005 and, and 10. And I, I watched TV, and there used to be sometimes like this, um, this channel that would like show music videos from, from yeah, that time, like 90s or early 2000. And the kind of like, you know, again, like the awkward 3D and just the, the vibe of like they were trying to make something look good, but it looks kind of off, right? <laughs> I remember that at that. Huh? It's giving me a bit of a nostalgia. They would say it wasn't Japanese music, um, but yeah, just the music video style, I guess. Huh? <laughs> that was interesting. Weird breakdown. I need to do a bit of matching efforts. And the editing, like, just trying anything you can think of. Okay, I do like this song. I think she loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you do the the gay part, it sounds almost like a children's song, you know. Yeah, like all the the voices sounds almost like a children's song, definitely. Good to see me at this. Nice. Yeah, I guess it's the love machine, yeah. How does it work? I do not know, but it must work. Okay, okay. Again, it's almost weird that this is from a few years after, but Compared to the first song I checked out from Night 7, both the music and the music video, it didn't feel as um, Ovitsela. Well, this really feels like Ovitsela, you know, from the music video to even potentially, potentially the music, though I'm not as sure because I'm not really as familiar with the genre of that era, of this music. Uh, it's one music video, but that was fun. I was also thinking at the end, like, yeah, man, they go through a lot of that fits in one video. Um, I think in, in some K-pop reaction I've done, like some modern K-pop reaction I've done, I've said many times, like, um, how many outfits do they go through one video? It's pretty insane. But I guess it's not really a new thing <laughs> looking at this. I mean, they're like weird editing where they kept like the same movement, but with different outfits. So I, I don't know how they shot it, but yeah, they kept going through the same movement with different outfits. So, yeah, some outfits were like actually kind of normal say so, some were like street clothes, some were like odd body kind of outfits. So it's, it's interesting. Just like this video feels like um like a like someone just put a bunch of 
the most random idea they had into into like a, a bowl and just mixed it and that's what came out was for the editing side for the you know for the outfits for like the look of the video it was pretty fun like it feels dated with the video but it's also pretty fun like it's a nostalgia for yeah for me for like when i used to watch these videos like which already felt a bit old when i was younger yeah the song is fun the song is fun i don't feel like it more than um the last one the boss Kind of have like the disco vibe, right? So I like a, I like both definitely. Um, but the, the biggest thing is that I've noticed yeah, is like um, they all feel much more like comfortable, be it in the singing, in the dancing, and just being kind of like they look really, you know, like uh, they found themselves in a full fledged idol group with a like a drive and a direction. So I like it, I like it, I like it. Good song, good song. It seems very popular. I mean, twenty two million views. Uh, right, uh, so yeah, fun song. Fun song, fun song, and yeah. Again, Alan, thank you for the request, and I guess thank you in advance for any context you might give me. Uh, definitely enjoying checking out Morning Musume. They have a good time. Uh, really fun song. Love the cheesiness of the, of the MV. It's really like of its time. Huh? It's good, though. It's good in that way. Like, I'd rather have like a, you know, a funny MV like this that feels dated, but that's the fun of it, than just something boring, I guess. So, yeah. A good time. Looking forward to more. I think we have more. So tomorrow probably more mornings to submit. Link for everything in the description as well. Like, subscribe, comments, and I'll see you guys next time. See you. See you. See you.